Navy Thomas 8 had his bike. Yeah, I guess he ran it too long without the, uh, while well, he had things plugged in on it, charging too long while he was getting it fixed. I ran a battery down low. Come on, and with Barbie, I mean, that's fuel injection. She, she needs all the power she can get, you know? She needs all the help she can get, right? It's a BMW, a Barbie. Oh, shoot, my turn signal's been on the whole freaking time. That's okay. I need to turn here. Too busy talking. Didn't bother looking down. The sun on my shoulder here, too. But yes, it did tell how it works. But we got like uh, for a maybe a 45 minute ride up and back. So, I think I'm going to stop off though. There is a place I want to stop off. I had a nice uh, killer Ricks. <laughs> Told him, I said, looks like a Junior. That's his bike. I mean, basically, I named it Goat Junior. Same thing, just not beefed up as much as the goat. Um. Mild, you know, there's mild differences. How it's really treating them well, and it seems to be doing very well. He takes it off road and everything. Myself, don't don't see much off road action. I do take her into gravel. Which can be hairy on its own, but one of the gravels not uh, gravels really loose. Well, I haven't laid her down on gravel yet, except for whenever I can't was coming home. I, that was a fluke. I was just off the road and on an angle. And I was coming home from Chicago. But it's how it. Uh, but I haven't seen it. Haven't seen much dirt or serious off-road. And whenever I'm in the gravel, I do take a little slow. I do take it a little slow. All set up. I had to change. I found my thermometer for the house, which I tend to. Um, put outside my garage on the wall, on the outside part, for the polar bear challenge. Because being a wood structure house, structure house, I can guarantee it, it throws it off a little bit. I want it as accurate as I can get it. And there's no sense in uh, being a few degrees off just because it's against a wooden framed house, even though with aluminum siding. And when in the garage, that is it's thrown off too. With uh, by taking the bike in out in the and also my SUV, which warms up the garage because it's not a heated garage. So I want it the coldest I can. So what I do is I normally stick it to the, the concrete block on the outside. 60 degrees is what it says. I don't believe that. I do have one for the bike, but it's got a bad one. Of, it's got the double sensor one, and one of the sensors are not good. But I can still use it. It's actually one that uh, NT8 bought for the, for the goat the year before she was decommissioned from him. I hope he likes that little term. Decommissioned. Yeah, he mothballed her. Took a civilian to get his hands on her and get her out of mothballs, you know? But. <laughs> 
<laughs> my thinking. Well, from what I see, the government has decided to uh, get open back up, which means the parks around here are going to start opening up their gates. And, uh, which I'm kind of happy with. I mean, I hope they leave them open a little bit longer. They should be closing them up for winter time. I hope they open. I hope they keep open a little bit longer. I, I normally like to get my uh, last one of my last runs. I like. I, I got a habit of going down to the one spot for whenever we, we put the boats out and stuff, and just to get a look around. Winter time is definitely on its way. I know we gotta get through fall first. But <laughs> I, uh, oh, if you're interested and you haven't heard any from anybody yet, I know, uh, I know it's, we, we, we are starting to really, uh, speak up about the polar bear challenge. If you're interested, if you're not, um, doing anything this winter, if you want to get the bike out a little bit, Going over to Polar Bear www.polarbearchallenge.ning, I N G, no, N I N G, sorry about that, N I N G, dot com, and sign up. Uh, the mayor actually is on there, and one of the, a lot of the lead character guys are on there, and they uh, they do do a good job keeping that going. You can read the rules. And uh, if I mean if, if you feel safe about it, come on in, come on in. Uh, you can even just uh, hang around and watch the videos of people riding. I mean we comment almost come on. It's all in good. Myself, I mean I'm a, I'm one of the participants as I able to get my what it is, is you gotta get three runs, three rides, okay? It's all you really need to qualify as a polar bear. Three rides, okay? So they gotta be three minutes long, at least, under 32, what was it, 32 degrees and under. That's all. Which is kind of hard for me sometimes. My, by, my weather around here, it gets, I don't know. It's 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 hard to get 32 degrees or under and not have ice all over the place. And I and I'm not one to ride bike bikes motorcycles on ice. I just do not do that. And with my uh, alley being no road maintenance, the only maintenance that it gets is from uh, basically the owners, the house homeowners. So it's like, well, what well, little bit I do, I do for mine to one side of the road, but I'm not going the other way. I mean, that's eating up my gas from our snowblower and stuff, and I can't afford that. So it's like, well, if I get ice, I get ice, and I, or I'm snowed in to the point where I can't get it out. I'm lucky to get my three, three runs, and I did it this time. I, I, am a, I was a polar bear. And I'm shoot, trying to try to shoot, get more rides in longer distance, a little bit longer distance. I'm not going to compete like uh, Gentleman's Nine or uh, both Buckle Boys or NT8. I mean, no, maybe Thomas Hayton. That's just not going to work for me. Oh, jeez, what the heck is going on? Law bite me citizens in front of me. 
I mean, it's a 55 mile an hour, mile an hour zone. Now go on, what, 50, 45? Like, kick it in the ass! <laughs> 